back to something new, something old, something different from my bookshelf, The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. This is my June read, and I want to say this book was phenomenally executed. This is an excellent book. I love the creativity level the author puts into this book. The story is brilliant. It's an amazing, I have nothing else to say about this book, but I could tell you that by the time that I was done reading this book as a Christian, I felt a sense of freeness, the sigh of relief. <sighs> just, just the way the author conveyed the message within the whole story itself, the way things were placed into simple matters. And yet these are life's questions, life's quandaries. And here goes the author with the breakdowns in such, in such a situation of the character. So, uh, cause I'm trying not to, of course, give the whole book out and all that good stuff, but I am amazed. W.M. Paul Young, you are the book slayer for the month of June. And if you have not picked this book up, I encourage you to pick this book up. You don't have to be a Christian. You don't have to be of a certain belief to understand what exactly is going on in this book. It's a phenomenal book. To me, I would describe it as life's quandary meets life's epiphany because everyone in life has certain situations and certain circumstances that always leave us in all or always leave us in question of life even myself as I said before it was like it's been moments in my walk where I've been like okay life what are you doing what's going on and it's just like one of those things it's like I can't I cannot tell you how impressed I am at the cre creative level of this, the shack. Take back moments, God is not so complicated. No, he's not, be blessed.